Hey folks, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're at my parents' house. They've got a few horses and a little bit of a fence problem. <laughs> so we're gonna go up to my great grandparents' house. In just a few minutes, we're gonna drive up to a place called Meadows of Dan, Virginia. It's in Patrick County, Virginia, kind of on the border of North Carolina and Virginia. And oh, by the way, say hello to Mama Stony Ridge and Mrs. Stony Ridge. <laughs> That's my mama. All right, so we're gonna take you up there show you the old house they're building a dollar general there which is really really super duper duper awesome mm. thanks a lot guys we'll see you in just a minute take you up on the mountain beautiful place meadows of dan virginia stony bridge farm stony bridge stony bridge farm floppy ears. Guys, in case you don't know what that critter right there is, it's a mule. It's a cross between a mammoth, what? Jack. Jack and a what? Belgian. And a Belgian what? Mare. Mare. And a Belgian mare. So mules cannot reproduce on their own. They're sterile because they're a hybrid critter. Pretty neat. Check out his uh, mane. It's all shaved up right there so he can work. So these are used to work on the farm here. My parents like to ride wagons and go on wagon trains and they use the mules. Pretty cool. One day we'll have a mule down at the farm. We'll pull some logs out of the woods with it. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's check out his haircut real quick. This is Festus. Festus just got his haircut and they didn't shampoo. No shampoo. Hey Festus. So where we're driving, there are a lot of rocks on the side of the mountain. And this is what my great grandfather used to do. He was a dynamite man and he's the one that set the dynamite to help build this road up this mountain and we'll get you a little shot over the edge of the mountain here. This is the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. We'll stop real quick at this little overlook. If you guys are considering a trip to Virginia or Martinsville, Virginia for like a NASCAR race, this is something that's a really good place to go. It's called Lover's Leap. I'll tell you the story about it. There was an Indian maid and a settler and they fell in love and he jumped off the mountain. I'll show you the mountain, it's crazy. I think a lot of areas have that little urban legend, but uh, this is actually true. So we'll take you up here to Lover's Leap and show you the overlook. Very beautiful. Meadows of Dan, Virginia. Just so you know how steep it is, you can see right there, it's fairly steep. And this is the overlook. This is the Lover's Leap overlook. We'll pull over right here and get out. My uncle rode his Harley Davidson all the way down this wall, all the way to the end when he was probably 30 years old. I'll show you what the other side looks like. So guys, this is the overlook right here. How beautiful, what a beautiful place. So the legend is that over here on the top of this mountain, it's almost like a cliff that the Indian maid and the settler jumped off the mountain right there. Pretty wild. And this place is named for it, Lover's Leap. And my uncle rode this wall on his Harley Davidson. And I want you to look down here. It's hard to show the steepness on camera. We'll go from the wall and that's pretty much straight down. There's a logging operation going on down here. I'll zoom in on it for you. And look, Mrs. Stony Ridge is finally taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your logging operation from above. Beautiful, beautiful place. Just now spring and all the flowers and trees are starting to bloom out. Really pretty in the summertime up here, guys. And this makes it even prettier. So we're pulling up here. And that's my great grandparents' house directly in front of us. And that's where they're putting the Dollar General. Awesome. Kind of a sad walk. <sighs> it's a little sad here. This is where we used to have our family reunions when we were kids. Uh, there was a old store building right there and that's where the post office used to be for Meadows of Dan, Virginia. And this is our old uh, well house, great grandparents' well house in the front porch we'll go on up here so this used to be a two-story house right here and these are the old flagstones that were picked up here off the mountain and used to build the chimney and just things are just kind of all to pieces so i can remember as a kid sitting on the porch here with the swing and uh little glider chairs old time glider chairs walk in the door there and my great grandpa would be sitting by the wood stove. Let's go on inside. Mm. 
Yep, she's locked. Still got a bow up. It's like, no, it's open. Yeah. <laughs> my wife just said, well, there's a door over here too. I said, yeah, I know. This is my grandparents' house. Not be obvious. <laughs> Pretty sad. I don't know what's under there. Pretty sad. Now I was told by part of my family that this house used to be a log house, but what I'm seeing is it didn't used to be a log house, but there's some pretty cool old timbers up here. And they were saying I should get some of these timbers to use in my house. Um, you can see the hand hewn uh, timbers here and big logs. I'll show you real quick. These are all oak hand hewn timbers. Right here is probably one of the oldest pieces of wood in the whole house, it looks like. Uh, and these piers that go up, they're all hand hewn. I'm not sure that some of these uh, timbers that are going up right here aren't American chestnut. There's one of the old pegs that is used to hold this beam in place. Interesting. So, this is my great grandmother's kitchen. And out there's the family dollar. Great grandma's canning jar. It's going home. It's going back to Stony Ridge. So back when this house was built, there was an outhouse out back. And this is the bathroom and it was, that's the addition that was put on the house. Now, a little funny story about great grandma and great grandpa. I come from a long line of silly jokester type people. The light switch in here, I've been looking all over for one. I can't find it. Uh, it's not in the house anymore, but the light switch here had a thing on it that said the flasher and it was this guy standing there with a coat open and you can guess pretty much what the light switch was. <laughs> I've been looking all over. If any of you guys see one of those anywhere, please pick it up for me. I really, really wanted that out of this house, but it's, it's gone. It's probably the first thing that got gone. Most of your pornographic novelties get gone pretty quick. All right, so I'm walking over here and this is where the Dollar General store is gonna go. And right where I'm standing used to be where my great grandfather would catch like raccoons and possums and he would fatten them up and they would eat them. So it was pretty cool. I'd come up here when I was a kid and there'd always be like a big old fat possum in there. He'd be feeding it corn, that thing would be like, I don't know if you've ever seen a possum up close, but they're not very pleasant creatures. All right guys, so this is the spring house, okay? This is where the spring, the water came bubbling out of the ground and this is where they kept things cold back in the day before there was any kind of electricity or refrigeration and stuff like that so there's a little pit down here and i'll show you real quick and talk you through it so in here is what you'd call the larder this is where all the food was kept there's an old whiskey barrel in here and way down in here it's really wet you can still see the water running okay so check it out so the spring is still running through here and this was the spot where we kept the food where my great grandparents kept their food like milk and stuff that they wanted to keep cold, they kept in here. Really cool. So guys, I just wanted to take you somewhere that was really special to me as a child and another chapter in my life that's kind of going away, but just want to take you here and show you. This will probably be the last time I see my great grandparents' house and it's pretty sad. Thanks a lot, guys. In the name of progress, thank you Dollar General for tearing down my grandparents' house. In the name of progress. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you.
folks, I don't want this vlog to seem like a downer. It's really not a downer, you know. My family sold the land here, and uh, we all could have lived here. We all could have saved the house. Uh, the house is old, and in the name of progress, old stuff goes down and new stuff goes up. So it's sad to see a place that was something special in my childhood that's going to be gone now, but you know, at least I'll have this memory right here to cherish it and, and share it with you guys. So thanks a lot for watching Stony Ridge Farmer today. And we'll catch you on the next vlog, guys. Got some fun stuff coming up. See you later. Don't bite me. They won't bite me. You want to be famous? What is this? What's this thing called? <laughs> what is it? A mule or a donkey? A mule. I don't know. And this mule is a cross between a I don't know and a I don't know. You need to ride Look, it. my mom really wants me to like get this right. That mule's got special, it's got roots, man. It's a special mule. Look at my mom. Don't Anybody? put me on this thing. Cause <laughs> she she fixed her hair up. She's a working woman now. We're all working people.